guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have another special guest. We have Brother John in the building. Brother John, introduce yourself. Just tell the viewers some stuff about yourself, and we're going to get straight into the video right after that. All right, sure. All right, hey, everybody. Um, Brother John, uh, our formal name, John Lee Jr. I'm from uh, the South Ozone Park Church of God of Prophecy. Um, been serving since I was a kid, pretty much. I got saved as a child. And ever since then, just whatever I can do, whatever I can do to help, that's just what I've been able to do. Good to be here. So guys, last week I made a video about one way to stay consistent. It was good to have my thoughts on it, but it's even better to have an adult's thoughts on it because they're an adult and they will have more information on it. And that's why we have Brother John here for today. Um, we'll be still talking on the same topic of consistency. We have four sets of questions today for Brother John. And I'm going to get right into it. First question of the day is, what is consistency to you? To me, um, I've always defined consistency as a, a likeness of pattern or application. Pretty much meaning that uh, there's a way of doing things and that um, the way if I do it today is pretty much around the same way, if not the exact same way tomorrow, or even more so a habit, I guess. Another way I like to say with consistency, a consistency or developing a habit. Good answer. We're going to get straight into question two. What's some challenges you had trying to be consistent and just having your priorities together? I think for that one, what are some challenges? It's always distractions. There's always going to be things that will come to distract your attention. Um, really with that, um, I know sometimes you might hear people talk about time management. We also have to get into a place of priority management too, uh, especially in our walk in faith or even just life itself. Um, so I think the biggest thing is definitely distractions and with distractions come mismanagement of priorities. Amen. Then get straight to question three. How did you overcome those challenges? Uh, overcoming challenges, one, definitely uh, you have to get to the place of the mind to really ask yourself, what's keeping you from actually being consistent? Uh, what is the challenge? Or even before that, acknowledge that you do have a challenge as far as being consistent, whatever it may be. Um, I know usually probably the context of this video was more so towards our walk of faith, but I like to put that in a broader context of all things. If you ever find yourself that you have a goal and or even a, a lifestyle that you're looking to live, but you're not able to actually develop that particular pattern the way you would like to, you have to actually be able to be honest with yourself to see what's breaking my consistency, what's breaking my pattern, what's um, helping me to be distracted, what's helping me to mismanage my priorities. Um, and honestly, that, normally for me, I think that that's the first place to start. Um, I always can say to uh, writing it down, write down uh, journal. Journaling has been a big thing uh, with that. And so with writing it down, um, finding out what the distraction is and even accountability, always having someone you can bounce yourself off of as far as what you want to do and helping them, having them help you be on panel with that, definitely help with overcoming um, for sure. And of course, I'll, I'll have a nice church answer too, prayer. Prayer always actually helps. Um, honestly, even though I list the other things, prayer is always first. Prayer always will actually ground you towards making sure you stay focused and actually overcome your challenges. And that's what I did. That's pretty much so my answer is what, what I've done. I include play with my minds too, because I have a lot of priorities and sometimes I slack on them. And especially with YouTube, I was slacking a lot, but I just had to be like, you know what? I'm doing this for the greater good, prayed on it. And I'm just making sure I get these videos every single week. My main priority is making sure I upload two videos each week. The times I upload in the day may be late due to like sometimes stuff happens, but as long as that video get out on the day and needs to get out, I'm just glad about it. It gets and, done. Yeah. The last question for the day, what advice do you have for someone trying to stay consistent with what they're doing? Uh, let's see, one, definitely pray. Prayer of all things. All things must come down to prayer. Um, like I said, one thing I always like to say, it's not just church life, but all life. Everything comes back down to prayer. Uh, pray first, get God's guidance, God's advice about it, what his voice is towards it, and even the Holy Spirit. Have the Holy Spirit guide you with that. Um, always like to say for also advice to find those that walk the way you want to walk. 
uh, regardless of what it is. If it is something more towards your faith, find someone that's strong in the area that you're looking at. Uh, find someone, if it's in business, begin to surround yourself with people that are like-minded, like-focused, uh, same goals, things of that particular nature, because you'll begin to glean things from them, and it actually will help you with your consistency uh, to go with that. Um, also, too, as far as connecting with them, too, last but not least, I guess to add with that, find your own pace. Um, a story I like to say, at least for me, in my personal walk, at least with faith, uh, one of my biggest challenges was praying and, and of course, reading the word. I, mean, I guess everyone says that at one point in their life. Uh, but for me, I actually followed what I just said. I prayed, found those that uh, walked that walk, and then I was able to actually, through prayer, find my own way. So for me, the way I actually make sure I read the Bible is not the same way as everyone else, or even the same way that I pray is not the same way that everyone else does. But it goes towards who I am. So I find who I am in Christ, find who I am in my place in society and the world. And I've been able to be consistent with that. Once I find something that actually fits me, it's very easy for me to obtain. I think a lot of times we compare ourselves to others and other people's walks and we try to be who they are, but not realizing that's not who you are. So when you actually get honest with yourself, but surround yourself with those that are like-minded towards it, you'll get your goal done. And you be consistent. Yeah, amen. I agree that. And I say also have somebody that's that's on your back consistently. Mm -hmm. And that person for me is Brother Jill. Even though like I do like the Bible study with him on Saturday, anytime we talk, he be like, <laughs> make sure you put a video out today. Make sure you put a video out this week or whatever. He always on me and he always like the Either he'll tell me that or just be like, yo, as long just make sure you remain humble. That's the two things I always hear from him anytime we talk. Because I know um, God will have a lot in store for me with this whole YouTube. And eventually I will be having an income over this. And money can change you in so many ways. And he knows that. And that's why he continued to tell me every single time we talk. Like, stay humble. Stay humble. I'm not at the point now, but he's just preparing me for when I get to that point. Right. That's it for the video, guys, today. I hope you guys got some important key information. We'll be back tomorrow, Bible study Saturdays. And see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like it, subscribe, and share this to anybody that you think need this. Peace. I'm out.